What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at y'all with another five fitted hat stores. I have filmed one of these videos before. I will link it at the end of today's video, but this is a whole new five stores that I picked out. I'm going to be telling y'all what I like, what I think could be better, the pros, the cons, all of it. Now, down below in the comment section, I definitely want y'all to leave where you've been picking up your fitted hats because let's be honest fitted hats sell out like crazy right now so let's help each other down below in the comment section keep it legit okay legitimate new era fitted caps <laughs> no foo foo shit in the comment section but also if you enjoyed today's video give it a big thumbs up because it does help out the channel helps other people see the videos and whatnot and i would really appreciate it but we're gonna go ahead and get into it i don't want to waste too much time the first store that we're gonna be talking about is sneaker town so i have my notes and like i said the first store that we're gonna be talking about is sneaker town now i like sneaker town's designs i feel like they pick good colors and the hats are usually well color coordinated i pay attention to colorways i may have teams that i really like front logos patches of course those things definitely matter i'm paying attention to that as well but the colorway of the hat is really gonna make or break it like if the colorway is ass i'm not buying it i don't care what team it is so you know i have my front logos patches and teams that i'm paying attention to but colorways really do make the hats that's why we're buying these right the custom colorways so if the colorways are ass i'm not paying attention to it sneaker town makes some really strong colorways now i will admit sometimes the colorways or the themes do look a little bit familiar but I don't really have a problem with that honestly i feel like it's more about accessibility and if you can't get it from one place and you want to get it from another that's your business i don't i don't care you know buy whatever hats you want from wherever you want i'm not gonna knock you i try not to get too caught up in the drama of who did what first it really just doesn't matter to me if you like the hat buy the hat their hats range from 50 to 55 dollars and they do ship internationally which is a question i get all the time do these hat stores ship internationally yes most of them do ship internationally but that doesn't mean that they ship internationally for free it's a head crack normally you're gonna get charged an arm and a leg for international shipping you just are there's no way around it like there's no way for these small businesses to afford doing international shipping for free so if you want these hats that's just something you're gonna have to come to terms with and i'll talk a little bit more about that at the end because there are some ways that you can get around that if you're an international buyer but you just gonna have to wait to the end of the video sneaker town also has an app and i did not know this before i sat down to film this video and i was like looking at all the websites doing my research putting together my notes i did not know that they had an app but i think that's very cool because it's kind of it's right there on your phone you know it's another way of checking out and with hats selling out as fast as they do even on sneaker town i mean you can't drag your feet if you like a hat you should go for it immediately don't drag your feet about it but i think having an app is definitely like a quicker way to get what you're trying to get so i think the app is pretty dope this is not a store that does huge drops so don't expect to see you know 10 14 24 hats dropping at one time you're gonna see hats added to the websites individually so one might go up and the next day another hat goes up you just kind of have to keep checking it keep checking on it instagram but that's how i notice that they do things it's very like one at a time instead of dropping multiple hats at once as far as sellout times like i mentioned earlier don't drag your feet don't drag your feet on any of these sites you know some hats might sit longer than others but you don't want to drag your feet if you see them upload a hat to instagram and it says available now move quickly if that's really a hat design that you want whatever team it is you know atlanta braves diamond bags there is definitely some hats that are more hype than others so diamond bags braves marlins right now for whatever reason those hats are gonna fly way quicker than like the yankees or something like that that might sit a little bit longer so don't get into the habit of maybe moving slower because your teams don't sell out as quick or your size doesn't sell out as quick don't drag your feet if you want something 
act on it, especially because of the way that they announce the hats. You know, as soon as they go up on Instagram, available now, that means you and thousands of other people are trying to get it in the cart at the same time. You want to make sure that you're on top of it. The second store we're going to get into is Still. I think Still is pretty dope. They make very good hats. The concepts be on point. The color placement is always on point. It's not repetitive stuff that you've already seen from every other hat company out there. They make very well executed hat designs but the drops are very small so there's a good chance that if you don't like one of the very popular teams your team will probably get left out because they only drop like three four hats at a time so that is kind of a downside the drops are pretty small but like i said the hats are very very well executed and the hats are normally between 50 55 dollars 50 to 55 dollars right now i would say is pretty normal for a fitted hat as far as international shipping i know that they ship to canada and that's about it you're gonna have to check the website or hit them up to find out anything else because on the website it says the u.s and canada that's it like most other sites they do announce the drops on instagram and they announce them in advance so you have time to get your pockets together whatever the case may be you know get your little setup ready you have time to make sure that you're prepared on drop day at the correct time you're on the website ready to go because they do sell out quickly there are in stock hats like hats from previous drops that are still on the website if you want to go ahead and check those out because a lot of them did have you know a good size run left but for the most part the newer drops those sell out very very quickly so you want to make sure that you act fast and them announcing it ahead of time gives you more than enough time to be prepared and get yourself a hat sometimes the hats do come with pins on the Instagram they'll tell you whether the hat comes with or without a pin I've seen some collections that have the custom still pins and I've seen some collections that there was no mention of a pin coming with the hat so if you're a pin collector as well as a fitted hat collector that might be a little bonus for you you know you get a custom you know personalized pin to go with that collection there's no physical location for this one as far as i know so you just have to make sure that you're ready for the online drops and keep trying until you hit but i'll definitely say that it is worth it the hats are top tier moving on to number three birdine chicago birdine chicago does two things very well consistency and variety they are based out of chicago they do have a physical location but they carry a wide wide variety of hats like you'll find plenty of different teams so it doesn't matter what team you're into you will find something for you and they also don't just have a variety team wise but they have variety in terms of front logos side patches you're not going to see the same hats that you see everywhere else there's definitely kind of like a a nice mix on the website you'll see a lot of different hats on the website and as far as consistency there's never a drought they're definitely adding hats to the website all the time like it's not like they upload every couple of weeks no they upload hats every day so definitely stay tapped in to the website their instagram you can really find some gems on birdines their price range is from 40 to 50 dollars for a fitted hat which is a little bit cheaper than everybody else on this list and i know you might be thinking well it's not that much cheaper whatever you know 50 55 40 to 50 is not that much cheaper but think about it like this if you're buying three four hats a week or however many hats a week that you buy it's definitely going to add up over time and you might be able to save some money and pick up some gems at the same time they also do have a good variety of color uvs and green gray so whether you like green gray or you like color uvs they got you covered number four is going to be hat heaven which should really be called greens and grays heaven if you like green and gray uvs this is definitely the place for you hat heaven is the place for you but it's also the spot if you like other types of hats that's another great thing about hat heaven so for all y'all who really like snapbacks and y'all be hitting me up about snapbacks Hat Heaven has a really good selection of snapbacks as well. I have reviewed them in the past on the channel. So if you want like a more in-depth, I guess, opinion on my experience with Hat Heaven, you could go check out that video. I'll link that one at the end of this one as well. So you could check that out. But my experience with them was good. The hats came quick. They were packaged well, you know, appropriate size box. They weren't crushed or anything like that. It was smooth. It was fine. I will say the only thing that you got to make note of is the batterman on the back. So shadow batterman, outline batterman, whatever you want to call it, detail batterman. That's the batterman that is on most of the hat heaven hats. I was not really paying attention to that at first. So when I opened up the hats, it did kind of throw me off a little bit. So just so y'all won't be surprised like I was, if you don't like the detail batterman, you know, make sure that you keep an eye out for that. 
the hat heaven drops are huge they drop like 30 hats at a time and the variety is definitely there you'll see different front logos for different teams different side patches they even got some plain janes in the mix they definitely make sure to include a good amount of plain jane so if the side patches are not your thing you have an option as well so a thousand percent the variety is definitely there they also do a lot of restock so if by chance a hat that you really want does sell out it'll probably restock within the next month or so because they restock like all of the hats from the previous drop y'all will see if you go to the website there's tons of hats that are in stock right now and these are not like mid hats they're not brick hats these are nice fitted caps from what i've seen the prices are between 43.99 and 47.99 so it's kind of like in the middle you know it's not quite 50 but it's not 40 dollars either so it's a nice in between i guess you could say but yeah go ahead and definitely check out hat heaven especially if you like green and gray uvs last but not least number five is going to be all the right now all the right is not a dedicated fitted hat store they actually sell sneakers and fitted hats so just keep that in mind if you want to go to the physical location it's in new york you can pick yourself up some kicks you can pick yourself up a hat it's kind of like a you know one-stop shop kind of thing but yeah they have been making some really really nice de designs lately they just had a collection called like the gray series that was pretty dope now they don't really announce a lot of the hats on instagram like in their feed but they announce them in the story so you're gonna have to follow them and pay close attention to the stories i actually found them just by chance like on my explore page that's how i found them but i'm happy that i did because some of their previous like more recent designs have been really really dope they did like a blow pop collection it seems like they have some really fire designs in the work so hopefully they continue to do that right now the drops are pretty small it's like maybe four or five hats at a time and i really do think you'll have a better chance of getting the hats if you actually go in the store so if you're located in new york this is definitely you know a good option for you online it doesn't look like their hats sell out immediately like some of the hats that i was telling y'all about from the gray series that they just recently released are still in stock in multiple sizes and i think it's because their pricing is a little bit more on the you know pricier and the more expensive and the hats are like 60 bucks some of these are 75 dollars well that one's a collab but yeah it's like 60 bucks for this gray series that they just released and the hats are nice but 60 dollars you know if you're shelling out 60 dollars for multiple hats that can definitely add up so i see why these aren't going as quickly but if you like them, you know, the 60 bucks might, might be worth it to you. The hats do look really nice. I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. The designs and the color placement is definitely there. So make sure y'all check out all the right as well. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did wanna throw in some tips for international viewers, you know, the people who live out of the United States who want to buy fitted hats. Now, my first tip for y'all is gonna be find fitted hat stores in your country. They are out there. I've seen plenty of newer, you know, small fitted hat stores coming up in Germany, coming up in Europe. And I might do a five fitted hat stores international edition or something like that because they are definitely out there but i do notice that y'all want to shop with the u.s stores but getting around that international shipping price that could be an arm and a leg seems to be what the issue is because i've seen that you know that shipping fee be as much as like sixty dollars and that's kind of crazy when you pay fifty dollars for the hat sixty dollars to get it shipped I can understand the hurt. I can definitely understand the hurt. That would piss me off. So my first suggestion would be find fitted hat stores in your country. My second tip would be make a friend. Make a friend in the United States because you can have them order your hats or you order your hats and send it to their house. And then once you get like a good, you know, box of hats or whatever the case may be, you know, your, your orders start coming in, stack them up for a little while, and then your friend can ship all of them to you at once. So you don't have to pay that $60 shipping fee from country to country every time you want to buy a hat. You can kind of cut down on the fee. Yeah, you'll still be paying something out of pocket, but it'll be way less than paying the shipping fee every time you buy a hat. Lastly, if you don't have a friend or you don't have friends in the United States, I should say, I would look into buying a mailing address or buying a mailbox in the United States so that you can have the hats delivered to there and then somehow forwarded to you. I know with sneakers, sometimes you could use like a reshipper. So if a sneaker is only available in Asia, I could pay someone in Asia 
that person will ship it to me. Maybe you could do that type of thing. Obviously, you'll still have to pay for it, but in the long run, it'll be cheaper than coming out of pocket every single time you buy an individual hat. I don't know, that's something to think about. I'm not an international fitted hat buyer, so hopefully that helped y'all. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show us more YouTubers some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.